Cody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site today doing some more work. Uh, River and Amber and I came uh, together earlier today. We uh, set up the Christmas tree, which is behind you, and I set, set the lights on so you guys could appreciate the beautiful charm of the Christmas tree while uh, we're working here. Uh, what I am working on is the bookshelves. Uh, if you guys recall, when I was uh, bringing pantry items here, I was bringing pantry items all the way up to the third floor, only to bring them all the way back down to the pantry. Uh, there was uh, a little bit of frustration on my part about all the extra work it was taking to carry them up, only to carry them back down. And now I'm doing the same thing with books. We're carrying boxes of books from the other house, and I'm throwing them up in that storage room, and I know that I'm going to have to bring them all back down to here. So I've been thinking, well, you know, there's an awful lot of books. Why not just build the shelves, and when we bring the books, we can put them right on the shelves. Keeps more room up there for shuffling things around while we uh, move in, and also it's like less lugging things around. Gonna do it anyway, so might as well do it today. Uh, if what you can see kind of in front of you here are uh, the bases of the shelves, I, I don't want books directly down on the floor, so I'm uh, uh, using these uh, one and a half inch boards uh, to uh, stick down on the floor, and then the three quarter inch uh, board shelves, I'm using 10 inch deep shelves are going to sit on top of here. So the book, the first row books will be about two and a quarter inches up off the floor. I'd like it if they were a little bit higher maybe, but you know, one and a, one and a half inch boards are so convenient. These are con uh, connecting down really well. It's all just extra stuff that I had. So, uh, you know, balancing what I've got as scrap and ease of uh, installation with, uh, you know, height off the ground, I've uh, determined that this is going to be just fine. Um, what I'm doing right now is uh, finishing this, uh, this run across the back. What there's going to be is about 13 feet of bookshelves on the back uh, and 6 feet of bookshelves on either side of the walls over here. And it's going to be 7 shelves high. I did the math on uh, you know, how high I wanted each shelf to be. And you know, books are really variable. I mean, some books are really big, some books are really little. And it's, kind of, it's a bit of a challenge to try to figure out, uh, well, how do I want to uh, set these shelves in terms of height? because you don't want the shelves to be too short because then you can't slide all your books in. But if the shelves are too high, you're wasting a lot of space because, I mean, a lot of books are pretty short. So what I've determined I'm going to be doing based on, you know, our library is I'm going to have two shelves, the bottom and the second from the bottom, are going to be a 14-inch gap. I'm actually going with 15 inches minus the three-quarter inch board, so it's like 14 and a quarter inches for the first two shelves. And then all the shelves above that are going to be 12 inches, which again is going to be 13 inches between the shelves, so minus the three-quarter inch board will be 12 and a quarter inches per shelf. That's going to give me seven shelves high up to the ceiling. The last one will be like somewhere up in there. Uh, and uh, I think that's going to work out uh, reasonably well. Again, there's going to be some books that are much shorter than 12 inches, but I like to uh, set my books in the shelf not based on their height, uh, but based on what their topic is. So, like, if I, you know, you could say, well, just make a shelf that's, you know, shorter and you put all your short books there, but you may have short books about gardening and you may have tall books about gardening. And instead of having them set up so it's like, oh, well, all the short books on gardening are here and the tall ones are down there. It's nice to try to keep them together. So 14, 14, and then all the rest are going to be about 12 inches. Uh, I'm putting in this last piece right here, uh, down over in this corner. And I wanted to talk about uh, what I'm doing right here, which is trying to get it so you don't even see a seam here. And the way that I'm doing that is uh, instead of cutting these at perfect 90 degree right angles, I'm cutting them back a little bit. So you got the two tips that are going to face out, kind of touching right in the front. Uh, and that's a great way of when you want to get a really tight seam between something, just taper it back a little bit. As long as you're not going to see the top of it, you're never going to know and you really can uh, slide those things right up next to each other. That's one thing that I did on all these seams in the floor is that I tapered them a little bit. So when the floorboards came together, the tops touch and there's like a little cavity in the bottom, but you're never going to see that. So uh, what I'm doing here is just uh, taking this and setting it in there, getting it nice and perfect on this end, and a few taps here, just taking a hammer, and it's coming out over here, there we go, alright, I've got marks on the floor that tell me exactly where it needs to be, but that's a nice, uh, uh, tight transition between the two of them, and uh, yeah, I'm going to screw that down, and then start putting boards in here. That's it. Thanks for watching.